Hi guys, this was going to be a charity shop gold or garbage video, but I got a bit sidetracked. I picked up this little radio controlled car in the Cats Protection charity shop. Should have been £1.50, but I actually only paid a pound for it. It's 40 megahertz, but when I tested it, I found it's another one of these ones that only goes one way. It doesn't like my transmitter. So if I press forwards, it actually goes backwards. In fact, yeah. there we go. So forwards, it goes backwards. Backwards, it does nothing. Right, it goes backwards. Left, it goes backwards. Now that's not a big problem. I can turn the wires round on the motor and it will go forwards when I use the controller. But it does mean I've got no reverse then. It's only going to go one way. The steering on this is that simple method where when it goes forward the axle goes straight. And when it goes backwards the axle just twists or turns or whatever you want to call that. Slops about. And that makes the car turn as it goes backwards. So it's not really steering control, it's just forwards or backwards. Forwards it goes in a straight line, backwards it turns. Anyway, being as it didn't like this transmitter, I remembered that I've got this transmitter, which you will notice I've already taken apart. I picked this up uh, with another radio controlled car in one of the charity shops, but it didn't work. Just physically doesn't work. So I thought, well, maybe if I can get it to work, it might work with this car. So I've taken it apart, and it's another one of those cases where if I touch part of the circuitry, it starts to work. I've had the same problem with a couple of receivers. I don't know what the problem is, but I know a simple fix. So if I just demonstrate... Nothing's happening. If I touch the circuitry, just down here, it's got exactly the same problem. It doesn't work in one direction, and whatever I do, it only goes in reverse with any of the other control. But it does mean that I've figured out that I can make this transmitter work. And the way I do it, rather than leave my finger in contact with it, I solder a bit of wire onto there. I've got a bit of wire there. So, not working, working, not working, working. So I'll just solder this piece of wire on there, wrap it round inside the transmitter, and it works. It's not right, I don't know why it works, but it does work. I've soldered that bit of wire on and just coiled it up inside the case, and just to demonstrate that it fully works, I've got another car here. So, left and right, and I don't know if we can see the wheels there, there's the other one, forwards and backwards. So this transmitter, transmitter now works. Just a quick demonstration in the kitchen. So that one works the right way round. And if I swap transmitters to the one that I've just fixed, and I use that word uh, carefully, it's actually the reverse, so backwards is forwards.
but apart from minor little things like that, this one now works fine. But it doesn't get round the problem that it doesn't work for this one. All we've got with that one is reverse, regardless of what we actually do with it. Right, reverse, left, reverse, 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 forwards, reverse. So that's going to be a little bit limited in what we're going to do with it. But I've got a working transmitter again. What I will do is look up the circuit diagram for the chip. It's a PT... oh, where's my glasses? It's a PT-8A977BP Y0306NW and the actual pin that that contact goes through to is pin 12 and the circuit board is TP77604 There's an extract from the data sheet and pin 12 is the oscillator input again same as it was on those receivers I was working on so doesn't really help me I still don't understand why attaching a wire to there or touching it there makes it work but it does I guess the next logical step is have a look and see what the receiver chip is in here have a look at the data sheet for that and see if we can actually do anything more with it than it's actually being used for. Because I've noticed on quite a few of the data sheets they're all very similar. They all do at least forwards, backwards, left, right. Some of them do a bit more than that. But they very often don't use all the facilities. So we'll have a look inside. Right, I didn't expect that. I was expecting a slightly larger transmitter uh, receiver than that. So <laughs> we're not going to be doing much with that. That's not a nice big lumpy um, integrated circuit that I can get to grips with. I suppose I could still look up what the details are. Let's see if I can find a magnifying glass. Not sure if this will focus for us. Might have to go and use my microscope. Give it a chance. No. Don't think that's quite going to focus well enough to be able to read it. So I'll go and plug in my USB microscope. But on the other hand, looking at the size of that, that is a nice small receiver, I could use that for a little radio controlled plane. Because I only need it to make the motor go fast and slow, or start and stop to be more exact. And that would do for a very simple radio controlled plane. Might think about that. <laughs> 